panicked and she was like, keep the wheel straight. You're still coaching. Wait, wait, wait. And then at the end, where I thought she'd be really angry with me for putting her in danger, she was like, yes, you finally get it. You have to push. To go through the dirt, that's a good sign. That means you're really pushing, Rory. I don't know if you just realized, but we almost died there. I like that, Rory. You must push, you must hit the dirt, you must go through the dust. That's eat by dust. That's what we want to see. This woman is crazy. Sabine brought that same energy and enthusiasm to every one of her appearances, no matter the race track or the race car. Chain car racing, weird concept, not something I ever want to do again. Hey, buddy. Oh, God, no. Let's smash some stuff. No, let's not smash some stuff, Sabine. Poor Chris. I don't think he knew that Sabine was going to be driving the chain car. He was in the back uh, operating the brakes, and Sabine had steering and throttle. Brake, Harris! Yeah. Oh, boom. Sorry. This is a woman that, you know, has barrel rolled many cars. She doesn't give monkeys. And, and true to form, it hurt. I know Harris quite well from the olden days, and I know he was genuinely alarmed by that. I can, I can tell the difference. Oh, my God! This is the worst thing I've ever done! <laughs> <laughs> Chris, good job! Are you still there? Just... It scared him. It takes quite a lot to scare Harris, and Sabina thought it was funny. You total lunatic. <laughs> what was really telling, actually, in all of these events was you can tell someone's got a real natural driving gift when you just throw them into anything. Sabine was that person. She was a bit like a Swiss Army knife. You never get a sense of danger with her behind the wheel, ever. There was only, even in that King of the Hammers thing. The King of the Hammers is an extreme off-road competition held every year in Southern California. It is considered one of the world's most challenging motorsport events. I remember standing, doing an opening shot somewhere in the Mojave Desert. The scenery was remarkable, and I just stood and looked at it and went, what on earth are we doing here? Woo, this is what I call a proper playground. <laughs> 